What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. If you guys are just tuning in now, so if you guys aren't subscribed, you're new to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, watch the video in its entirety. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Now let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do a little bit of hop along Cassidy. We're going to hop around from place to place and try to find items that are undervalued and maybe we can flip them for a profit. Now, this guy, this old man that lives here, he puts stuff outside. He's a reseller. He's been doing it for years. His wife has passed away um, several years ago, and he has a lot of her stuff out here. A lot of it's not really worth picking up a lot of it is Avon jewelry unfortunately but every now and then he will put a he'll put an item out an item or two out that is just you know um definitely salvageable or you know something that I can flip um he does he's not dumb he knows the prices he does look things up online but every now and then like I said he'll throw something out there and I'll be able to make money off of it so let's go there. a little snowy out today guys I mean watch these steps fall bust my butt all right let's flip the camera around we'll take a look and see if you got anything good today been have my eyes on that for a long time but it's too much to ship some shot glasses we'll throw like ends you know odds and ends into this box i don't really see anything in it a little tool tool belt yeah, unfortunately, everything gets water damage too. But no, I don't see anything else. A cool little guitar. First act, Walmart. Cheap. No, pretty much all the same. Nothing new. Florida golfer. Yeah, see, here's all the jewelry. No, nope. bunch of watches already. Basically went through all of those and we got some Christmas. No, not today guys, but it's always worth a look. You never know what he's gonna put out. Um, all right, so we are at the shop. We're at, I um, can't remember the name of this place, but we're gonna go inside. I know everybody in here. I don't have the GoPro today. I'm just gonna use my phone and we're gonna look for some stuff. There's an Amish lady in here that that she's the one that put out all those games. So let's go see if she's got anything good today. All right, guys, I've seen a pair of these in the thrift store. All this stuff on this table is all free. Um, trying to get my camera to go in. Yeah, there we go. These are called Mad Poles. These are, they seem to be in pretty good condition. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. All right, so I pretty much went over all these hats before. They're all the same ones. Like, there's a couple good ones in here. Like, there's Grove and... But there's just nothing really worth spending on. But there's these records here. We have this one record. I'm going to cover it up because she's naked. It's called Chinga Chavin's Country Porn. Now, this record is <clears throat> from 1976. So it's actually the year I was born this album came out. But it is worth anywhere from like 17 to 25 dollars the record's in okay condition then we have this batman i haven't gone through this pile yet but i'm going to right now we got some daryl hall and john oates the batman this record's in bad shape if it was in good condition i'd probably get like 20 dollars for it all right guys so we have this mini super nintendo these are worth about 100 online they want they want 40 for it but i'm just really I'm really not trying to spend that right now. It's definitely worth it if it works. Um, I've sold in the original mini Nintendo before. This is actual authentic too. This is a Nintendo one. This isn't a cheap China knockoff, but yeah, I'm going to pass. All right, guys, I was going to pick up a motorcycle helmet in there too, but it was just, the condition was 
I think it was a Shea, a Shea helmet, vintage 90s, and had a deck of cards on it. It was just like really, really cool. All right, so I picked up these hot dots. Um, they come, one pen is in the box. I don't know if there's any more in here. 47 piece fairy set, something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, this is, this is like a homeschool type of deal. So we got that, and then we're gonna go through this bag real quick. And then we picked up, these were all a dollar. So we got this New York Rangers. This is a CCM. This is official hockey. Then we picked up this Harry Potter. I got the, I got the cloak and the tie. Not in the best condition. Then we got these Old Navy. Um, pants. These are women's pants. These are a good size. They're a large, um, but they're brand new with tags, so they were a dollar. Then we got this cashmere sweater. I looked it over. It's two ply. Let's see if we can find the brand for you guys. It is not the greatest brand, Max Studio. It's Max Studio, 100% two ply. It's like a mock neck, turtleneck, whatever. And then I seen these and I was actually really surprised to see these there. We got these North Face um, jumpsuit, like um, snow suits. They're high vent. These are definitely worth it. I spent a total of $17. So there's that one and then there's another one. Couple stains on them, but I guess that's okay. Um, I'll probably have to wash them and we'll go from there. They're not in the best condition, but I only paid a dollar for them. So not bad. It's funny because the lady just came in that's donating. I think she's going through a divorce and she's their house, they're selling the house. I asked her about video games and she's like, well, he's keeping all of those. Well, of course he is. So I would. Anyway, um, not too bad a score in there for $17. One item will get our money back and the rest will be profit. I had to leave the Nintendo. I wasn't trying to spend $40 on the Super Nintendo Mini. It is worth $100. I would have made 60 bucks, probably 50 after taxes and fees, but I'm not willing to spend the $40 on it today, maybe another day. But, and also I had to leave the helmet because the helmet was missing padding. I didn't get to show you guys the helmet, um, but it was just a regular, it was just a motorcycle helmet, um, just a your basic motorcycle helmet with a flip, um, flip, um, protector face protector whatever you want to call it um lid or i forget what they're called but it was really cool it had a deck of cards all over and some of those helmets go for hundreds of dollars with those custom paint jobs but it would have took forever to sell and you know it would have took a long time for someone to really come along plus it was missing the padding inside so um we're gonna go hit up a couple more places around here and then i gotta go ship my items all right, so we're at Vicky's Treasures. I don't think the other guy's gonna be open. I think he closes at one. He's open from like nine to one, only on Friday and Saturday. So he'll be open tomorrow. Plus everything, if he had anything good in his shop, it's gone. There's people that wait there like an hour early, half hour, just for him to open. So, because you never know what you're gonna find in his shop. Like I find, a, I found a lot of valuable items in his shop and he's very fair with pricing. So let's go in here and try to score big. All right, guys, so this is cool. It's a K brand, too. Um, I think I'm just gonna get it. It's only gonna be, well, probably only a dollar. There's a lot of them in here, but they're like, this is Perry County out here, Pennsylvania. A lot of them are just Perry County themed, so they're not really gonna sell. All right, I was waiting to find one of these. This is a flip clock, and this is where, when you turn the knobs, yeah, when it turns the time, it flips. Like, um, this is a vintage cube Magnavox flip clock. Um, there's one listed right now for like 95 on auction, and there's one sold for 20 for parts plus shipping. They want five bucks for this. It's a definite scoop, and I'm glad I found it. See, when you look, you're gonna find these items that you, th you think you're never gonna find them, but you do. This is also really cool. Um, this is a Sears millinery, millinery, millinery. I can't even pronounce that, but it's vintage, but it's got some like moth trails on it, like some bites in the fabric. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, they don't seem to be selling too much anyway. There's like three sold, but not even that type. They're different types too, so whatever. Absolutely no service out here. I'm trying to make sure that I set that I accept the offer from the right person. Somebody that didn't pay is willing to pay now. So 
supposedly, um, I just want to make sure it's the same buyer. But anyway, I'm really glad I found that clock. I did ask her if it works. She said yes. I knew I was going to find a flip clock eventually. Um, there's just those items out there like floating pens, those pens that, that have the the little things inside of them that float around like a hula girl or something like something of that um, nature or whatever. Um, I know I'm going to find one of them eventually because whenever I see a pile of pens, I always look. It might just be, it could just be by itself one day, but um, eventually I'm going to find it. Um, I've got to, mister. All right, anyway, guys, a little Ace Ventura for you. Um, let's go. Um, I think we're going to stop at the Salvation Army out by the shop. But we have to go to the shop. I have to drop things off, and I have to ship 17 items. All right, so he's actually open on on Friday. He's open, till, he's open from 9 to 3, and Saturday it's 9 to 1. So he's open for a couple more hours. We'll go in and see if anybody left anything good behind. They probably did. All right, guys, so right in the door, I don't think that this is authentic. Um, it does say Gucci on it, but it's like painted on, like the print on the inside i just don't think that this is authentic it is still really cool and i may be able to just give it away to somebody it's going to be five bucks i'm just going to pick it up then we have this hat and i'm thinking about getting some of these cars like there's just he's got a couple boxes filled so there definitely is some stuff left all right guys there's no service in here this is made by pet mate it's in really good condition this is like a pet this is obviously a pet carrier I'm just thinking that these are probably expensive and it's five bucks. I think I'm just going to take a chance on this. If anything, I'll just keep it. $35 later, I'm pretty sure the Gucci is fake. That's a pet mate. I'm going to look that up. I think that's probably going to make most of my money. Some of the items were personal. All right, I wasn't going to stop in, but I was like, you know what? I'll just go in. I'll try to be in and out as fast as possible. We're at the Salvation Army. We're going to go in. And why is my phone a little... A little foggy. All right, there's a couple Lands End sweaters. I'm gonna pass on them, but I always pick these up when I see them. These are Metro style. These are blue, light blue suede leather pants. They're these are lined too, so these are gonna be five bucks. They should sell for like thirty to forty. All right, nothing too crazy today, but I did find this polo. It seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, it's too big for me, or I would probably keep it. Generally, these big ponies go for probably like, I could probably get like 25. It also has the spell out right on the collar. I'm going to double check and make sure there's no stains, but good find. Also, these shoes, um, these are worth anywhere from $60 to $70. So good score for five. They're called Hofflinger. All right, guys, so we're back in the shack in the basement, a.k.a. the dungeon, whatever you guys want to call it, whatever I call it, doesn't really matter. This is the Gucci Angry Cat um, wallet monogram. Monogram is when you see the G's. See where the G's connect right there? Um, the G's are going to, there's going to be like a flat line. Let me flip it around. Whenever you see the G's like this, <clears throat> excuse me, this part of the G is going to come out more. They're like There's going to be like, it's not going to have a point on the G. It's actually going to be, it's going to come straight across. Same with the top, the top G. And then also there's no, there's no serial number. I knew that this, I can tell by the dust bag. It has a dust bag inside. There's nothing inside of the dust bag. Um, it's just like, feels really cheap and just, um, you can tell. I pretty much knew from the start that this wasn't going to be a, an authentic one. It looks really nice. Uh, I think the original one, the original Angry Cat does not have these the metal hardware. It, it has leather. It has the leather hardware. Plus, there's supposed to be a serial number inside of here somewhere. Let me open it. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. So bear with me. Sorry. But inside of here, there should be like a serial number, probably like in that area somewhere. Also, if you look at... If you look at, let me see, where is the Gucci? I think it's right here. Let me get in the light over here, guys, so you can see. If you see where it says Gucci in there, see how it's stamped on? It's not supposed to be stamped, or not, it's not supposed to be 
um, like color, like a color stamp. It's supposed to be embossed, like embedded, like an embossed stamp. So definitely not real. Oh well, I paid five for it. Maybe I'll be able to sell it to somebody for 20 bucks or something and just make a couple bucks. Who knows? It's a shame there's so many fakes out there that, you know, you can never really find the real one. I've found real Gucci maybe twice. It happens. You're going to find it if you're looking. Anyway, I got a bunch of other stuff in here. Got this, um, got this vintage spray. It is an airbrush set. I'm not sure what it's worth. I think I paid like $3 for it. I took a chance on a couple of these lures. Every now and then you'll run into a lure that can be valuable. I got at the shop at the last minute, so all of the good stuff was probably taken. I also got a couple of these Mountain Ops Yeti. I don't know what these are worth, but um, I only paid like $3 for the whole thing. There's two of these containers. There's one there, and then there's a big container. I know I could, I know there's value here because this is like... This is um, like protein shake type of stuff like that. I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what it's worth. Here's another another lure. If you guys can see the lure, little fishy. Then um, this bag was open, so you know I don't know how that's gonna work. I'll probably throw it in with that. Um, here's the hot dots, the hotty dotties. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go through this stuff. I just ordered pizza. I'm going to grab the pizza, go home. I got to stop at Carnes, grab some chips for the wife. I like these type of chips. I can't remember what they're called. They're really good. They're like a honey, um, like a honey barbecue chip, like a, like they're new chips, but they're really, really good. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And there might be a couple videos somewhere around here. Peace. Slide, catch him on the high side. Escalate it and why make the day turn to nighttime.